ahead and throw it back to you guys. We're live all night, so come hang out on Gander TV. Gander. Thank you, Sasha. Yeah, we're uh, following uh, the craziness that is happening here tonight. A statement from Keene State College officials was released just minutes ago. I have that statement here. I will read it to you now. They say over the past few days, a large number of out-of-town visitors have come to Keene for the Keene Pumpkin Festival. Subsequently, during the course of the evening on Friday, off-campus gatherings associated with the Keene Pumpkin Festival escalated at a number of locations around the city. Keene State College administrators have been coordinating closely with the city and continue to do so. Keene State is also communicating regularly with students and parents of current students. Of course, we told you earlier there was, uh, we heard 20-plus uh, students that were taken via ambulance to the Cheshire Medical Center in Keene. That caused Cheshire Medical Center to issue a mass casualty, which basically is a call to bring in all available staff because, well, they just don't have enough people on site to help care for the patient load that was brought in to the emergency room. Now, what kind of injuries are we talking? Well, we heard a number of beer bottles and beer cans were thrown at some police officers at some times, and we also heard that uh, there was uh, even some fireworks that had gone off. So uh, that is a situation that we're following very closely right now. More on that coming up in just a few minutes. But when we come back, literally in about 60 seconds, Seconds more on Pumpkin Festival coverage 2014 in minutes. Hang on. A boy born in Joplin, Missouri was fascinated by anything with wheels and a motor. The odds of him going on to fascinate millions with his talent? One in 260,000. The odds of this born racer having 157 career top 10 finishes in NASCAR? One in 125 billion. The odds of him winning both the Daytona 500 and the Brickyard 400 in the same year? One in 195 million. The odds of a child being diagnosed with autism, one in 68. I'm NASCAR driver Jamie McMurray, and my niece has autism. Learn more at autismspeaks.org slash signs. Right now, Ruth Sterling, who is the festival coordinator, is on site here uh, and is being, uh, uh, well, she's not letting me do my job and to report to you. She would not like me to tell you what is going on at Keene State College. Now I'm being called a free stater. This is a family-friendly event. The footprint of Keene Pumpkin Festival is 100% safe. We have a bigger crowd than we've ever had. I want them to have a wonderful evening and not be disturbed by people who aren't even at the Pumpkin Festival. So if you think that inciting these people is a good idea, I am going to pull the plug on you because you are here as a guest of Keen Pumpkin Festival and I assigned you this spot. You heard it here first, Do everybody. Not when you alarm our guests. Thank you. When you report the news, when you report the reality, the people in charge want to shut you down. This is against freedom of the press, folks. We have been bringing you coverage all day. Yes, Ruth is correct that this festival is very important for Keene. We have been reporting that all day long. Then pull the plug. But pull the plug. agency, and you have no right to self-promote here, darling. I'm not self-promoting anything. Yes, you are. Do we agree he's self-promoting? I agree. Yeah. Everybody, Ruth Sterling, the festival organizer of the Keene Pumpkin Festival censoring local media from the truth of what is happening outside the footprint. More on this to come in uh, just minutes, but right now we want to bring in Zach Sang. Zach, come on in, buddy. I'm going to be real with you. I've been doing this for many years, probably close to a decade, never seen anything like that. 